there are a lot of lesser known gestures within the Chrome mobile application. Most of them are set up to work on both Android as well as iOS, and today I'll be showing you all the ones that I have learned about over the years. I will go through these gestures fairly quickly though, but you can always rewind the video a bit if I end up going too fast for you. You can refresh most websites by making sure that you're at the top of the screen and then performing a swipe down gesture to pull the website down. Then when you let down your finger or thumb from the screen, the website will refresh the current page that you're viewing. You can also swipe through your currently open tabs by performing a left or right swipe on the address bar. This won't matter if the address bar is at the top or the bottom of the screen. Just swipe to the right or to the left, and then you'll see it cycle through your open tabs in Chrome. There's a way to quickly access your tabs overview page by swiping up or down from the address bar itself. If your address bar is at the top of the screen, then we simply perform a swipe down gesture on the address bar and you'll see that go to the overview page. And if you have the address bar located at the bottom, you can do the same, but swipe up from the address bar and it'll take you to that overview page. Speaking of the tab overview page, you can close out any of these open tabs by swiping them to the left or to the right. You can perform a pinch gesture to zoom into websites and zoom back out of them, which is great for getting a better look at the text you see on screen or even an image that you're currently viewing. And while we're on the topic of zooming with the Chrome application, you can perform a double tap gesture to use a smart zoom feature that will bring your text into view. And this works without letting the text be cut off from the left or right side of the screen. Something that can take a little bit more attention if you're trying to align it with the pinch to zoom gesture. This is great for those websites that are not set up to be mobile friendly, but they will also work if you have it set up to view the website in desktop mode. If you have gesture navigation enabled, you can perform a swipe in from the left or right side of the screen, and that will act as if you actually tapped the back button, sending you to the previous page that you were at. There's also another tap and hold gesture that works with the three dot menu icon right here. If you tap and hold on the icon itself and then slide your finger or thumb through this menu, then you'll be able to select that option when you let go of the screen on that feature. Sadly, this will not work if you have the address bar set down to the bottom, but I could see that changing in a future update. So this one is a little more well known, but you can open a link in a new tab, open it in a new tab group, open it in an incognito tab, preview the page, copy the link address, copy the link text, download the link, add the link to your reading list, or share the link by performing a long press gesture on that link itself. You also get some similar options when you perform this gesture on an image as well. There are a few gestures set up for the mobile version of Chrome that allow you to select and highlight text within a website. I've seen some pages allow you to double tap on a word to select it. You can perform a long tap gesture to select it. There's even a force press gesture that will highlight the word faster instead of having to wait for the previous one to be activated. Along with long pressing the address bar, we can long press on the home page icon. We can long press on our shortcut icon. And we can long press on our 
tab group icon as well, with each of them giving us another option to dive into. These are all of the gestures that I've been able to find right now, but I want to hear from all of you. Did I miss any gestures that you know of? And if so, please share them down in the comment section below. Just please do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well, as it really helps to keep me motivated to create more content for the community here.